Interesting. So you're, I just want to make sure I understand this. You're saying that the English are the reason why League 1 is a farmer's league. No, I'm not <laughs> saying that at all. <laughs> is it a farmer's league? No. It's not a farmer's league. So okay. the, the problem of League 1 for me is that yeah. we are too uh, centred centred on the physical aspect. So for example, someone that has great... Lifting weights. Yeah, weights like that. We play the the type of play in France is physical. You see Griezmann, he wasn't Griezmann come from the same city as me, like in France, same countryside. Which is just for the uh, people watching. Ah, uh, so Griezmann come from Macon. My little brother is playing in the club. The Griezmann father is the president of my little brother's club. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, that's funny. What division do they play in? He's he's 15 years old, so he's playing in a regional one. Okay. And Macon, the senior team, is like playing in the fifth D- French division or six okay. but there are so many divisions in France it's, it's a good club and so so Macon is a really little city like 35,000 inhabitants and I'm from the countryside just near I'm friend with his cousin actually and uh, so anyway Griezmann's but, cousin yeah that's cool but that, that's important and this guy was very good but he was rejected by Lyon he was rejected by Saint-Etienne probably my club by all the club around and he had to go to Spain because in Spain they just value the technical aspect more than the physical one. Mm. It's more tiki taka, passing, passing vision. Yeah. And that's, I think we are dumb in France with that. But it's also because we have a lot of players that are really strong. Like, as I told you, a lot of people with African roots that are genetically more strong. Like, yeah. more. When I was a kid in France, it was like so difficult. You play with guys, I was like 14 years old. And in Saint Etienne, and the guy were like so big, like twice my size. You just cannot touch the ball. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm tall, so the yeah. thing is that it's just. Yeah. Imagine how I feel. God damn. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, it's it's kind of different. The the form, the academy in France is more about that. You have to be really strong and run a lot. That's and really everything. interesting. Yeah. Because from the American side, I don't think there is a stereotype about how league on teams play yeah like no you know with the premier league people say oh it's the most physical league in yeah, the no, world that's true that's true italy Serie A. oh it's the most defensive league that's in the world too. spain yeah finesse technique yeah. but they don't say anything about france they just say everybody's a Founders, potter yeah, yeah, a sculptor yeah. they're a, uh, they make cheese um is, they is, work on the vineyard no you if know. someone if someone is saying that it's because he doesn't know football obviously <laughs> yeah. because if you i love those stereotypes though yeah they are hilarious can no, it's do fu- french it's people fu- think it's funny or yeah, they no. uh, i mean it's funny but i see so much of farmers league all the time <laughs> that i mean the problem with france is that if you see at the league in in, in itself in it it's very interesting like except PSG winning all the time oh, we're gonna talk about them next yeah so. that's really boring for me but except that you have a lot of rivalries inside like my team and Lyon the the rivals Saint-Etienne, Saint-Etienne. Saint-Etienne is my team Lyon is the other we are really close it's a really old historical rivalry because we in Saint-Etienne it's like the poor city people who are miners like in the mines uh, no money at all, terrible life, and Lyon was the light city, really rich. They invented the cinema. It was like everything, mm. the gastronomy, everything was in Lyon. So it was a re- it's all still the rich versus the poor. In Lyon, they were eating snails and yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> okay, okay. Like the the, the more Lyon dishes. So uh, so Ligue 1 is not a farmers league. It's a miners league. We I, have it. I we have it backwards. It's so, no, I think it's not <laughs> as good as as the biggest one. I know. I'm sorry. I'm having too much fun. No, 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 fun no, no, no. I, no, no. I, I think you're right because it's the problem with us is that we don't know how to win in the Europe stage, and that's terrible. The only team, the French team, can I guess US, Marseille? Yeah, which team? Yeah. Oh uh, God, uh, I have no idea, but I know that they were guilty of corruption yeah, or bribery clearly. immediately afterwards. Yeah. What year was it? 1993. Ooh, wow! Against, That's a long time ago. Against Milan and AC Milan and goal of Basil Bolli. Europa or Champions? Champions. League. Champions. Okay. Okay. The only French team that won the Champions League, and that's terrible because I mean 
as I told you, we have so many good players. If you see the national team, we won 1998, we finished final in 2006, won 2018, finished final in 2022. People don't realize how good the French national team is. If you speak about the World Cup, it's the most difficult, difficult tournament. It's one under four years and we made two finals and two wins in 20 years. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And so you did lose to Mexico in 2010. Yeah, I just want to put that out there. And we didn't make it through the group stage. That was a, <laughs> that was a bad <laughs> World Cup. Maybe we'll talk about that later. Yeah. But why are y'all so bad in Europe? What's the mm. reason? I think now it's mental. Mm. It's really like PSG. They have money. They have stars. Obviously, they don't know how to make stars play together. Yeah. They are dumb. They buy Messi, Neymar, and Mbappé who, do, who don't defend. Of course, you cannot play with so less balance like that. But you, I think, I don't know. For me, we are just, we, it's a mental problem. Marseille finished in the final of Europa League against Atletico Madrid in 2016. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. lost. But Diego Simeone. Yeah. yeah. PSG lost in final against Bayern Munich. Uh, two years ago good game yeah you could argue PSG played better yeah in that game but and then Coman puts the uh, former PSG player yeah former I, PSG I, player yeah I mean I could have bet my house on it I knew it's I don't know it's we are cursed like French French teams it's impossible we just play but and the thing is on the they want money the, the, the teams the problem in France is that we raise good player we form good players and then we sell it them to English clubs, most majority. Nicola Pepe for eighty million. That's dumb as fuck from Arsenal. But they are, <laughs> but they are, they are agreed, agreed. They are so dumb. They, are, they have so much money. They just buy like this. So what every club in France do now? They just want to raise good players. They invest a lot in the academy, so that they have good players that they can sell and make money with it. That's the way of working in France. So the thing is, we have a lot of good players because the academy is crazy good. We have a lot of good French players. What's the main academy? La Chate... Chate... Chatelaire? Did I make that up? There's one academy that's... Claire, Claire Fontaine. Claire Fontaine. What am I talking about? Le Chate... I, that must be from my <laughs> Napoleon book. I don't know who... I don't know what that... Claire, Claire Fontaine? Yeah, Claire Fontaine. Claire Fontaine. So that the... The castle where all the French national team go. Okay. When okay. there is a, uh, they have the games or everything. They sleep there. They train there. And there is a team, an academy team from Clairefontaine, and they are good players. Saint Etienne just bought a really, like, really good potential player there. At 16 years old, middle field. Mm. Uh, Matisse Amougou. If one day he became famous, you will have heard. You it. learned it on Deball yeah. TV. Eventually, yeah. <laughs> hit subscribe.